Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Lena. Uh, I want to say some words about uh, uh, the media situation from my, uh, from my view, uh, what's happening here in German uh, media during uh, the war of Berg Karabakh. Uh, perhaps uh, Mrs. Roth can, uh, Mrs. Roth can say uh, also some, uh, some words. Uh, to combine uh, because I don't uh, I made it from my view uh, as a, as a coordinator of this uh, project. Um, let's see let's see first uh, what's happening during uh, the war situation. We have two main issues uh, in uh, in Germany. Uh, this is the one issue. Uh, I think worldwide, this is the coronavirus uh, situation. The coronavirus situation was covered by the German media uh, for, for my um, subjective impression for about two thirds of the, uh, of the news with a lot of debates in TV. That was the one main issue. The second main issue were the election in the United States. The, uh, the, say, uh, the, um, the fight between Donald Trump and uh, Biden and uh, what was happening. And under this uh, big uh, main issues, uh, the uh, Bergkarabach war was uh, reported. Uh, was reported uh, uh, in, uh, in a way where where my uh, impression was it was in the in the papers i can show you uh, later on some uh, uh, articles uh, from my paper here it's a big original paper in uh, in germany's uh, the rheinfalz and uh, and uh, my impression of uh, the um, reports on our public uh, tv in the main uh, in the main news um, the war, the reports of the war started uh, about uh, a regional, the regional conflict was reopened between Azerbaijan and Bergkarabakh. Uh, the, uh, the, both, uh, the both sides, uh, Pashinyan on the Armenian side and Aliyev on the, uh, on the other side, uh, yeah, started again. Uh, started again a uh, war and continuing the uh, the conflict and with a lot of propaganda in the first uh, part of uh, of the war my impression was that the azerbaijani side um, gave a, let, a lot of um, film media to uh, to the international uh, to international uh, journalists and there was less information from armenia uh, what was uh, what was happening you saw a lot of uh, pictures uh, from uh, the um, from the uh, Azerbaijani uh, side uh, from their military uh, from their military and uh, in a in a much better quality uh, than uh, from the Armenian side. I mentioned this because uh, the quality of pictures also has an influence to uh, to the audience. That was uh, <clears throat> that was uh, in the in the beginning. During the war, uh, our big uh, public uh, TV, TV stations had uh, correspondence in Bergkarabakh. They went to, uh, they went to Bergkarabakh. Uh, they, uh, they made reports from uh, Stepanakert and the, bom uh, the bombing of uh, Stepanakert and the casualties uh, of, the, um, of the civilians. And <clears throat> so that the German um, audience was informed uh, about the things uh, which were going on. They were also informed about, more and more informed, let, us, uh, let me say it in this way, about the Turkish uh, role. And to the Turkish role, <clears throat> we, I have to say that in, uh, between the EU and, uh, and Turkey, uh, there are a lot of uh, very difficult relationships and troubles uh, at the moment. Uh, so that <clears throat> the influence of these troubles and uh, uh, this uh, um, different uh, positions and interest conflict are also uh, influenced uh, 
uh, the media in uh, the, the media reports in Germany. We have the, the problems with Turkey uh, in the Mediterranean Sea, in Cyprus, in uh, uh, with Greece about the gas uh, resources. <coughs> sorry, in the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, we have the role of um, Turkey in Syria uh, against uh, against Russian and against uh, Assad. Um, and we know that uh, Turkey is involved. Uh, what not really came over, I think, till, uh, till now, was, uh, was a thing that uh, Turkey is active using um, Al Qaeda and IS fighters in in this uh, in this war. The same fight, the same fighters, ideological, who made the. Uh, uh, who went to Paris, to Nizza, and to Vienna uh, with uh, with a lot of uh, casualties, in <clears throat> uh, even in the European um, capitals uh, I, I mentioned. So that there was a combination uh, to use this uh, aggressive terrorist for making uh, a, a war, supporting Azerbaijan in this war, or making this war in uh, in Caucasus. That uh, I think it will come through uh, in the reports later on after uh, after the war. Um, <clears throat> in the German media uh, itself, uh, it was also reflected that uh, ceasefire should be the the most important uh, the most important aim uh, uh, to stop the conflict, to stop uh, fire, and uh, and to stop uh, the war. That was uh, every time. Also on the agenda of the media, when uh, we had three uh, keys fires, uh, uh, two were broken, and the third one uh, is now the uh, yeah the, the situation of the day. And uh, so it was uh, it was reported a lot in the in the German media. But you have to mention that Armenia is far away the the uh, from German from the German uh, view. Um, I think uh, we had also the uh, the Belarus situation, the demonstra uh, demonstrations against Lukashenko were mentioned, and the main use uh, before uh, uh, with a bigger priority than uh, the uh, than the war in uh, in Bergkarabach. So this is uh, uh, this is how uh, Germany um, uh, German media covered, from my impression the uh, the war situation um, another thing was not uh, really discussed uh, the role of uh, of the Minsk group uh, the role of OSCE that uh, uh, the EU or Western Europe is involved and the peace or the wars is involved in the whole peace or uh, conflict uh, process in Kauka in the Caucasus region uh, too uh, that there had been the problems in the USZE was not really reported that there uh, that the organizing of uh, OSZE interests and uh, working possibilities is uh, is a little damaged and complicated at the moment that was not uh, reported it was not reported that the keys fire uh, was uh, uh, that it was Putin's work that was uh, reported but uh, that the uh, Minsk group was out of, uh, and so Western Europe was out of uh, this um, ceasefire uh, uh, agreement in inverted commas, uh, was not really reported. Uh, so from my view, uh, the German, uh, uh, the Bergkarabach war means it's good that we had a ceasefire situation. It's a regional, uh, it's a regional conflict with international aspects. The role of Turkey is problematic, not so problematic as from uh, as I see uh, 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 in the combination with ISIS and uh, Al Qaeda terrorists' uh, support from uh, from the Turkey side. Um, so that there will be uh, a lot of things uh, to discuss uh, in Germany in the EU. Two based on this uh, based on this uh, ceasefire agreement and the uh, and the situation we have now in the Bergkarabakh region. It was reported uh, 
that uh, Armenia lost the war. Uh, in some uh, one article, uh, one article in the in the Rhine Files, I sent it to I sent it to Mukutic uh, some uh, days ago. Says uh, both uh, both sides are winners and losers because uh, uh, Azerbaijan wanted to take over all. Karabakh region and now still Armenia has influence in Step Kanakerk and the and the region. So there is a, a there is a neutral uh, there is a position uh, uh, in Germany uh, about the Sper Karabakh war. Uh, from my impression, when I from my conclusion, is it's far away. No, there is ceasefire. Uh, the Russians are in the Caucasus region. What that means for the oil uh, business in Azerbaijan and the pipeline, uh, that was not, uh, that was little discussed. And uh, uh, discussing uh, more and more wars, the new war technologies of uh, drone wars and so on, and what that means for uh, for war. Um, how uh, and naturally uh, in the front. Um, uh, of the reports in German media was the uh, casualties in the, from the civilians and the hard life of the civilians, and that was uh, that was uh, one uh, that was in the in the middle of uh, of a lot of reports from uh, Bergkarabach. So uh, the historical background was mentioned uh, every time or that. In a lot of times, uh, say by international law, Bergkarabach belongs to Azerbaijan, that there are other positions or, or, and uh, how, to handle it, how to handle it all as international law uh, was not in the, uh, in the foreground of, uh, of <clears throat> reports. And uh, I hope that, uh, that the reports and the uh, cover, coverage of the war in German media Will show uh, the EU and the European, uh, the Western European um, uh, media plus uh, uh, the European Union and the governments to uh, to have a look at this uh, situation uh, in uh, in the future. So I can show you. I've I've just copied some pages uh, from our regional uh, from our regional paper. I hope I can show it. Uh, to you, moment. Yes, we can see it already. We can see it, okay. You see, that was uh, uh, on uh, Monday, uh, 28th September. You have here a very big report about uh, Corona in Israel. And uh, here you have uh, on the third side, uh, uh, you have uh, uh, the propaganda war uh, started. This, uh, with this, uh, 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 report uh, about uh, the starting of the war uh, our regional paper started uh, uh, to um, to re make reports of the uh, of the war then we uh, then we here have uh, also um, uh, a few to turkish involvement in uh, in other war situations <clears throat> in the mediterranean sea uh, in libya uh, North Africa and Syria were all aggressions of uh, Turkey uh, policy, and with a command here uh, uh, saying, uh, uh, explaining the role of uh, of Erdogan. So it was uh, that was in the in the media, and that was shown as a problem what uh, Turkey is doing, but not in this combination with uh, the open um, the the open support. Of uh, terrorists um, like Al Qaeda and uh, ISIS. This was also typical on the uh, on the front page uh, uh, about the uh, the suffering of the um, civil, uh, civil uh, population in uh, in Bergkarabach. What's happening? Uh, what's happening there? And uh, here we had uh, also a report background. Um, a background about the um, uh, 
the history uh, and the interests of Azerbaijan and, uh, and Turkey and, uh, uh, and the role of France and, uh, and Russia. So France was involved. Uh, uh, Macron early says uh, we support Armenia and um, but without uh, any uh, without uh, results of the Minsk group I mentioned uh, I mentioned before and uh, uh, and so the role of Russia also was uh, was reported um, And here was uh, here was a little uh, here was a little uh, report um, that uh, Moscow helps uh, Armenia uh, uh, in this uh, in this war, and this is another conflict line uh, which is important, uh, I think, because uh, the confrontation of the Western uh, European countries and Russia also means uh, that uh, Armenia is in the. Uh, is in the fear of Russia, and so uh, it's more far away from uh, Western uh, interests. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that was uh, that was a thing I wanted to show very uh, very shortly. We have very good, uh, from my uh, from my impressions, very good reports uh, uh, in the uh, later later on uh, in the uh, German uh, Tagesschau uh, de from. Uh, reporters and uh, journalists going in the area filming in uh, filming in Bergkarabach with reports uh, from Armenia uh, too and in the second half of the uh, of the war my impression was that uh, the Armenian uh, that the Armenian side uh, uh, became more uh, played uh, a more important role in uh, in the reports of German uh, of German media. So, as summary, uh, we had Corona, ninety percent. Then we uh, no, let's say seventy percent. Then we had twenty percent, twenty percent about the election in the U.S. And uh, uh, then we have the rest: uh, uh, <clears throat> Belarus demonstrations, the fight against Lukashenko. And then the rest uh, of importance for the audience uh, is the Armenian uh, war situation. I think that's a reality uh, uh, which does not uh, uh, cover the real <clears throat> importance of this uh, Caucasus uh, situation as a very, very dangerous um, uh, thing for Armenia, uh, uh, for, uh, for Georgia and the, uh, and the whole region. And my last words uh, is uh, that I uh, noticed that there was also uh, <clears throat> in Germany no really uh, a reflection of the genocide uh, happening uh, uh, 100 years ago and uh, what German, uh, Germany did as an ally of the Turkeys, uh, not uh, uh, as supporting of, uh, of this, uh, of this happenings and the involvement of uh, the, uh, the German, uh, the German uh, Kaiserreich uh, uh, 100 years ago. And so uh, we should, I would be very uh, glad if uh, uh, all the, uh, com all the um, relationships between uh, Germany and Armenia uh, will become more, uh, more and more important also for, for Germany to have a look in this, uh, to this region. And I hope that also uh, the Minsk group will play uh, <clears throat> a much more bigger role in the future than it was now in this uh, situation. So German public, uh, the German public is informed, knows about the backgrounds, but Turkey, the problem is, Turkey is partner in the NATO, and we have this ref refugee uh, agreement with Turkey that Turkey does not allow uh, Syrian uh, refugees to come to Western uh, Europe, and so, uh, uh, Germany is also a little afraid uh, about Erdogan, and that's the whole model uh, about this about this war happens and how uh, media reports on this war. That's also my perhaps subjective uh, view to the things uh, uh, which were happening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your very clear words and um, also for sharing 
yeah, your perspective. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Dr. Wolfgang Ressmann? Oh, no question. Yes, uh, Ms. Roth? No, no question. It was only, only addition because Mr. Ressmann said maybe I can add something um, because I work for the TV and um, I can only underline what you say, Mr. Ressmann. I think um, we are so focused on the Corona news in our country that it's really hard to get the attention of people to what's happening outside. And if we get the attention to what is happening outside, we focus very much on Belarus in the moment, which is quite important because it's everyday trouble. And as I'm also working for the European Federation of Journalists, we focus also very hard on Belarus and try to help the people over there, mainly also the journalists who are victims of, uh, of the uh, demonstrations and of this regime. But uh, just to tell you that it was a lot of reports in our news and news section of a target show about Emenia. And I can show you if I can tell, make that, does it work? Yeah, we can, we can see it. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. So we have uh, news like this, which is very uh, typical because we focus very much um, on the human tragedy that is happening there, people uh, who have to flee, people who burn down the houses be before they flee. Um, we have uh, a next one and they have background reports. And if it comes to the background reports like that, it's a uh, it's called Old Interests and New Weapons. It focuses uh, on the old tensions between Russia and Turkey. So then it becomes already very difficult for Germany because uh, they have a very critical position to Turkey in the moment. As you know, <laughs> it's a lot of problems um, concerning refugees, concerning uh, the cutdown um, of media, the control of media. Uh, a lot of problems. We have also a lot of problems with Russia. But what was Mr. Restman said too, nobody mentions uh, also the interest in oil and gas, what we have. So we have to work together with Azerbaijan. So I, my impression, my, my, my personal impression, because I did already a film about that, and it was a difficult film and I was controlled, that it's really, if it comes to that oil and gas interests, um, people begin to leave out the political positions to that also in journalism. So my impression is also that it was it was reported every side of that, I think in a very neutral way, that was okay. It was not uh, taking a position to this or that country. It was very much underlining that the people in Nagorno-Karabakh have really a human, big human tragedy and that it's very, how to say it's uh, it's it's really cruel. It's not life condition anymore, and so there was the empathy with um, with these people there. But it's a very problematic um, political background discussion going on with with kind of we call that black holes <laughs> in news where nobody dares to report anything. That's my impression. I just want to tell that because I'm a I'm an investigative um, journalist too, and this is my, what I think about that conflict. So just, I wanted to add that. Thank you very much, Mrs. Andrea Roth, for keeping us informed. Does anyone have a question for Mrs. Roth or Mr. Dr. Wolfgang Ressmann? Dana, one addition, please. Uh, I was also surprised that the uh, differences between uh, uh, the building of democracy in Armenia, which, uh, uh, which is going on at the moment, uh, did, uh, uh, with, all the, with all the things, uh, fight against uh, corruption, uh, with, all, uh, with all democratic uh, things of the media, like we also hear, uh, heard this uh, morning from our, uh, from our friends, journalistic uh, friends uh, uh, from uh, uh, Gumi and uh, Yerevan. Uh, on the one side, uh, that there is a democracy uh, uh, growing, and on the other side, you have an absolutely cor uh, corrupt uh, system uh, uh, where journalists are imprisoned, 
where, uh, where pictures were shown that I have to say uh, two where pictures were shown from Azerbaijan uh, and uh, uh, the comment was we don't know whether this uh, uh, whether the source is uh, is real or is uh, is not real knowing that journalists were impre uh, imprisoned and that no one uh, that no journalist was allowed to go to the uh, to the front line from Azerbaijan, uh, uh, from the Azerbaijan side. So uh, I think we uh, we have to uh, to cover this uh, things uh, in the future too. Uh, what's happening inside the country? So we have so we have in the West, and because of that, we make this media dialogue project. <laughs> we have to to open our eyes in the West to the things happening. Uh, in the Eastern Partnership uh, countries, in the direction of democracy, against democracy, in direction of freedom of press, and uh, and so on, and that should be also a, a thing uh, to inform our audience uh, even uh, much more in the in the future, and to have a look at Turkey and this terrorist uh, uh, cooperation of Erdogan uh, too. This is the things I learned from this uh, conflict and we uh, and we have to uh, and, and we have a responsibility uh, based on our on our history to Armenia uh, that uh, the genocide uh, fear in Armenia I think it's a real fear and uh, there we have to say very very clear words uh, also in the direction of the NATO uh, the NATO member, I don't say partner of the NATO member, Turkey. I want to say thank you to both, to Mr. Dr. Wolfgang Resman, to Mrs. Andrea Roth, but also to all our keynote speakers um, this morning for keeping us informed about the media coverage in the respective countries. Mm -hmm.